Oh boy. Tell them about the chemistry test. Well, okay, so I, I, I mine, mine was pretty interesting. Both Ella and Walton had been attached at this point, and I. I you know the story. Yeah, I, I did a reading with you know Graham, Geneva, and Jonah, and then they made me read on Zoom with Ella. A chemistry test on Zoom is, Which is insane, by the way. Yeah, wow. you're. It's, you're it's trying, not good. <laughs> you're like, do I look at the camera? There's do a, I look there's at a the delay, face? Someone's on mute. I should probably start talking before they finish their line. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> but but then you did great. We we yeah I I, I thank you. You did <laughs> thank you. Uh, they they flew us out to New York to do a camera test on the set. We were on a vault set, so I it was like In walking costume. out full vault. Vault Full suit for Ella. Gear. I was I was in the squire get up, so I had the buckles and, and the... this is a couple weeks before we started filming, so everything's like half done. Oh, Everyone's yeah. kind of running around like, what yeah. do we do? But it was. It was kind of exciting. I it was, was saying, amazing. It did feel like, you know, a Batman thing where they're like, yeah. did the suit fit? You know what yeah. I mean? It did. It felt a little magical. It felt a little like, mm. ooh, this is old school. Old the film camera was rolling. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. It felt it felt really special. Um, yeah, but, yeah. but it I felt like the first day of story. filming. It's a great story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about it, all about it, till yesterday. Oh boy, I also shaved my head. <laughs> I was in Miami or wherever I was. That's like, right. Uh, different life. <laughs> I was offered the role. <laughs> I didn't read shit. <laughs> I haven't read in a long time, my man. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I uh, um, got to got to bring, infuse it with humor. Uh, no, I, I, you know, it was, look, I, again, like we've said in a couple of other interviews, Jonathan Nolan, I think, hung the moon. I think we all feel that, and we have such profound, deep respect. And I met him uh, almost 25 years ago, believe it or not, at an Academy Awards luncheon. He says he remembers it, he doesn't. <laughs> Very kind. Uh, but, and, and it's just been a dream of mine to, to, to work with him. And, uh, and we just got on, we got on the Zoom, and and really started talking, you know, and, and it was uh, two minutes into the conversation without reading anything, anything I just said, hey, I, I'm in, like, I'm doing this. And they said, you know, don't you want to know who you're playing? It doesn't really matter, but sure. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I was going to be playing like a version of like, like Lucy, like a guy version of Lucy. You know? <laughs> I said, well, it's you're going to be- very similar to where you similar. ended up. Yeah, 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 yeah. just a little less attractive. <laughs> A little less attractive. Uh, and they just said, uh, you know, you're going to be playing a ghoul, 200-year-old bounty hunter, and you won't have a nose. And I said, you know, maybe you should send those scripts. You know, maybe yeah, I look at a couple read, pages, read those. <laughs> you know, and then we kind of pick this conversation up. But I, it was the greatest decision I've made in a long time. I'm having a great time. Uh, I, I did audition. I didn't think it went very well, so I was surprised. Again, on Zoom, I did my audition on Zoom. You did. You I did, did my audition on Zoom, and I balanced my laptop on, st on top of the tallest, all right, it wasn't that tall, I'm five foot four, but a pretty tall stack of books, <laughs> and it was sort of like swaying. I didn't think it went, it went very well. I was quite surprised when I found out I got the part. Wow. I think my first words were like, Isn't that are you sure? Me? Yeah. They yeah. definitely said my name. Wow. Um, but here we are. Oh, that's, oh, well, there, there was no one else to do it, but yeah. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, 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 no. It was too late now. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, the first actor we talked about, um, like I think even before we'd brought Jonah a full take for what the show would be, Graham and I were like, hey, we'd watch a Fallout show if Walton Goggins was in it as a ghoul. That would be rad. Uh, and it's just, you know, he brings such an electric energy to everything he does and such an incredible level of commitment. Uh, and, you know, obviously he can do uh, comedy like Righteous Gemstones or Vice Principals. Uh, I had also worked with him on a Tomb Raider adaptation and knew that he could do drama as just as well. So he just seemed perfect. Yeah, I mean, he's fully can be fully terrifying as you've seen in, in Justified um, and and shows like that. And to be able to also do the, the things he's done in Righteous Gemstones is um, I, I don't think a lot of people can do that and do both so well that he never feels like a tourist in either genre. And so he kind of actually embodied. Uh, the sort of duality that we have for, with our backgrounds, with sort of my experience in, in oddball comedy and her experience in big blockbuster high stakes uh, genre pictures. Um, yeah, he was sort of the guy that, that sort of had both of us in him already from the jump. <laughs>
We knew we had a huge challenge when it came to casting our Lucy and finding our protagonist. Which again, in the game, is a character you get to spend Fallout 4, you spend the first, you know, depending on who you are, 10 minutes or 40 minutes designing your own character. We knew we had to find someone who had that fundamental every person quality that everyone could look at and emote for. And that's very difficult to do. Um, Ella has this combination, obviously fantastically talented, uh, versatile actor, but also this wonderful <clears throat> openness and warmth to her. Uh, the ability to kind of be naive, a little naive on the one hand, but also, you know, deadly on the other hand, and, and that growth through the season. So we knew we, knew we needed someone uh, phenomenally talented. I'd seen all his work before on Yellow Jackets and, and other projects, and was just blown away by, well, first I was blown away when I realized that she was a Brit, because I'm a Brit, and I do a pretty good American accent, but hers is better. Um, I also, was just struck by her dexterity, you know, her, her ability to, to, to sort of capture some darkness and some light. Uh, and we just got really lucky, you know, we just got fantastically lucky and we found someone who could, who could carry you out of the vault into the chaos of the wastes with a sense of dignity and morality that kind of carries through, through all of this. Well, yeah, we met countless wonderful actors who are so amazing um, uh, for months and couldn't find anyone who was Lucy. Um, and part of that was we had this sort of rule uh, internally that was like, uh, no Brits. Uh, and our casting director, who a very patient gentleman, uh, <laughs> brought us so many wonderful options and we were sort of always saying, no Brits, no Brits. Because this is a very American, Americana kind of character, and that's what we thought we needed was an American. And then when we finally came around to like, okay, I guess we could look at a few Brits, I suppose, and we met Ella, and what Ella brought to it was uh, an outside perspective as a Brit, uh, being able to sort of play an American uh, with some objectivity um, and kind of bring a bit more of that satire to life. I, I really think. Um, I don't know. It was it was it was perfect right out of the jump. It was an absolute blessing. I mean, also in that this was just an unbelievably physically demanding shoot for whoever was going to be our Lucy, and Ella was so resilient, uh, just as resilient and relentless as Lucy is as a character. Um, and so she was just you know absolutely perfect for the role, but also perfect for this production. Uh, in that she just was utterly professional, even on like no sleep, and we dragged her all over the world, and we dunked her in water, and put her through all manner of torture. So, um, yeah. we were just blessed to have Ella. There you are, you little killer. <laughs> <laughs>